Now, a first look at a special Christie's auction opening online today. It features a collection of the late Joan Rivers jewelry, furniture, clothing, and art. Her daughter, Melissa, is here to talk about that and much more. Great to see you. Good to see you. First of all, this is the first time I've ever sat in these chairs. And these... Well, because these were in the living room, and you know, you're never allowed to actually sit in the living room furniture. <laughs> did they have plastic coatings on them? No, they never did. And watch, ready for this? Ready, yeah. Are you ready for lightning to strike? Yeah. I'm going to put something down without a coaster. No! Oh, there we go. Your no. mom is screaming from yes. above right now. Yes, no she is. Question I'm going to pick this up. I am a little too scared. <laughs> yeah. And if you look, this table is right there in that corner. This is really, your mom had kind of a formal aesthetic. Yeah. She liked the, like, for example, I'm looking at the doghouse over here. Which Spike never used. Why? Was not allowed to use? No, because why would any dog in its right mind actually go? <laughs> it's too go humiliating? And, yeah, the, do the dog would not be humiliated enough to go into that. With a little Tiffany a little dog Tiffany bowl. little Tiffany dog bowl. And, this, um, this is called a commode, yes. and I will be honest with you, when I read the notes and it said Joan's commode was up for auction, I thought, <laughs> ew. No, a commode <laughs> is a fancy word for table. Right. Um, one thing about my mother, and, 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 and to be serious for a moment, um, it's very difficult. It was very difficult to decide what to, what to sell and auction off. A portion, of course, is going to charities. Well, how did you decide when you opened closets and you th saw things on tables? How did you decide what to part with and what to keep? You know, the, the most interesting thing is what is truly important to me, nobody else would want. Nobody's going to want her toothbrush cup. Right. Or the, or the stuff that was on her night table. And one of the things you said to it as a formal aesthetic, I like to think that my mother was a maximalist, which is rich people hoarders. <laughs> yeah, maximalism is equal to rich people hoarding. Um, but also my mother very much believed that she was just the caretaker of a lot of these things while they were hers. And a lot of it is, is very good art. And, and, and some of the, the Fabergé, Fabergé stuff. I mean, I, would, I'm, I hate to talk money and things like this. I don't know why. But I, I would imagine that's going to be a very pricey item. Yes. Um, the Lily of the Valley is actually featured on the Christie's catalog uh, on the back cover. It's a, it's a very important item. It's, it's seed pearls, diamonds, and carved nef, uh, nephrite. But one of the reasons my mom loved Fabergé is they were the provenance is they were given as gifts to be used and she believed right. in using her things so she actually put family photos in her Fabergé frames so you so, hope that people will not treat these as museum no, items that they'll actually, actually make them a part, part of their home and a part of their lives which is what my mother did and you know it, it's been a I didn't realize how much this was gonna hit me emotionally and it's so hard to say goodbye to a lot of these things. But I just keep remembering that she believed that her things should be loved and used and appreciated and not just stored somewhere. Let, let me ask you about something that happened not that long ago. You settled a malpractice lawsuit mm -hmm. concerning her death. I know the, the details of the settlement are sealed, but can I ask you, did you learn anything during the discovery process or during the litigation or litigating of that that surprised you? I learned that uh, when you think something is obvious or a mistake that is being made is obvious and that it would be a flag to stop or to stop something, it isn't, if that makes any sense. You think, it, in other words, people did things they should have known were wrong. Yeah, that when, when I went back and looked at things, I would... I, I'm not a doctor, and I went, I know that's wrong, just from watching, you know, medical dramas. Um, but I'm not a doctor. It's not my place to make those kinds of decisions. And at one point, you just say it's too painful to keep going through this. Is there any such thing as closure after a settlement like that? I know that's an overused word, and people yeah, closure sometimes... Is, closure is an overused word. Um, it was time to put it behind us and move forward. And one of the ways we're moving forward is I'm going to push for... Uh, some sort of legislature. I'm going to start in Albany and hopefully it'll be something that becomes a, a federal mandate of much closer regulation and tighter regulation on these outpatient ambulatory clinics. Uh, this, I was going to say on a lighter note, I'm not sure this is a lighter note. But with, me, so with my family, we're so shallow, yeah, there's always a lighter light. note. We can't even say what I started with. So uh, I know you pretty well. Yep. And I have read that um, you have actually taken little portions of your mom's <laughs> ashes over the last several months around to all kinds of places. Yes. I think around the world, yes. actually. Yes. In a little Ziploc bag and deposited them 
quietly in places that she would yes. have wanted. The, your producers actually wanted me to bring some to give to you because you're a germ phobe, and they thought that would be hilariously <laughs> funny. Um, actually, as did I, but I, I like you too much to do that to you, just to watch you start to shake. Um, like yeah, I'm not sure I haven't had handled that. Exactly. But have you done that? Yes, and I've shipped her all over the world to different friends, and she's in England and Scotland and Mexico and Wyoming and California and in stores and restaurants and studios and she is she is places nobody would expect her to be. I think she'd love that. I think she'd love that and I think she'd be really happy that what I still have is in my closet near my shoes. <laughs> Melissa, it's always good to see you. Good to see I you. I loved your mom, you know that. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank you. Again, the auction begins online today with a live auction at Christie's New York and next a, Wednesday. And apparently Savannah would like this as a push gift. Oh, really? Yeah. If you're watching, <laughs> okay. she picked Michael, this. Michael, you're on. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.